Buying a home is usually the biggest lifetime investment. You don't want to make these 10 common mistakes. So let's get to it. If you get any value from this video, please like and subscribe and share to encourage me to keep doing these videos. Thank you so much. One, not getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Before you can start shopping for a home, it's important to get pre-approved for a mortgage. This will give you an idea of how much you can afford to spend and will also make you a more attractive buyer to sellers. No sense wasting time looking for homes out of your price range and sometimes sellers won't even allow buyers to see their home without a pre-qualification. So reach out to a lender and get that ball rolling first. Two not doing your research before you buy a home. It's important to research the neighborhood, school district, and other factors that are important to you. Make sure you know what you're getting into before you sign on the dotted line. I can pull up most of that information together for you if you're looking for a home in Marin, and if you're not looking in Marin, I can recommend a realtor to you that can also provide most of that information. Make your life a little easier. Three, overlooking hidden costs. When buying a home, it's important to factor in hidden costs such as property taxes, insurance, and maintenance costs. Home ownership is more than the cost of just the home. So add it all up so you're not surprised. Four, skipping the home inspection. A home inspection is a crucial step in the buying process, and it's important not to skip it. An inspection will give you an idea of the condition of the home and any potential problems that need to be addressed. In some locations, like in Marin, where I am, sellers frequently provide a home inspection in the disclosures. But it is still a good idea to get your own. Plus, you might be able to follow the inspector around the home while he's doing it and you'll get a bunch more valuable information by doing that. Five, not negotiating. Don't be afraid to negotiate when buying your dream home. You may be able to get a better deal on the price, closing costs, or other terms. That's what us realtors are for. We're experts at negotiation, or at least we're supposed to be. Always choose a realtor who is well-versed in negotiation skills. We aren't born with those skills. If you're a buyer or seller of real estate anywhere in the United States, reach out to me as I will work for free to help locate you an excellent realtor who can provide top notch service. Just email me. Six, it's a mistake to ignore red flags. If you notice any red flags when you're viewing a home such as a bad smell or evidence of water damage, it's important to take these seriously. They could indicate major problems with the home and that's a great time to call in a professional to render an opinion on those issues. Seven, failing to consider the future when buying a home. It's important to consider your future plans. Will you be starting a family or downsizing in the future? Make sure you choose a home that will meet your future needs, ideally for at least five to 10 years. Homes can go up and down in value in the short run. You'll likely have a sounder investment by staying put for some reasonable period of time. Eight, being swayed by emotions. When buying a home, it's easy to let emotions get in the way but it's important to make a logical, informed decision based on your needs and budget. Ah, uh, but the best thing is to truly love a home. Don't lose your head in making an offer you might later regret. But again, the longer you will be in the property, the less likely you'll need to worry about that. Nine, not having a contingency plan. If something goes wrong during the buying process, it's important to have a contingency plan in place. This could include a backup offer on another home or a plan for alternative housing if necessary. This is clearly just about making you free to make an unemotional decision no matter how your buying process goes. 10, rushing to a decision. Finally, don't rush into a decision when buying a home. Take your time, do your research, and make sure you're making the right decision for you and your family. Make the experience a positive one, and I hope you find your dream home. If you made it this far, please subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Thank you for supporting my efforts at providing this information week after week. Have a great day.